Hey guys, so I'm trying to vlog my Monstera Deliciosa and um, she did come in is severely damaged but she has gotten better. Uh, she is right next to a west, I mean an east facing window and she has been sitting here I would say for a little bit of time. So far there is a little bit of burning right here but it hasn't really gotten worse. And this was already torn and damaged through um, delivery. The All the issues that I have, except for this one, has been um, before I got it. I think she's acclimating really well because she has been here for about a week or so. And that's the only real issue, a little bit of burning in one leaf. I have been really, uh, I have been paying very, very close attention to her. It also still kind of looks like it's a little dirty to me, but she, I really did clean her. If you could see that, that's clean. I really did clean her. She's not very, like, overly shiny, and I think it's just the way they kept her, like this right here. I don't know if you could notice it, but I can. It just kind of looks a little splotchy to me. Um, the newer leaves do look shinier. And I did use the same cleaner and everything that I did use for this particular plant will be in the description section. So if you're curious and also what I use to water her will be down in the description section as well. Everybody always says to put them uh, across a window, more of a indirect, very bright light. I didn't really want to do that because I wanted her to go like a monster and an east window only really gets morning light. And because of that, I wanted to test if she could really survive here. I'm not really loving the moss pole right here. And I did purchase this just for this particular plant. Again, this damage right here is due to um, this wasn't really packaged very well. And if you've seen my unboxing, you can, you, you know, you can tell why. But um, she wasn't packaged very well. I have noticed, though, that... There's only one leaf that since I've gotten her that has gotten kind of bad, but everything else is great. Um, this face is a window too. This face is a window too, and all of the rips that came from transit, and there are no burnings in this one. So I'm really kind of thinking that maybe because this is a baby, it's much smaller one that that's why, and this is a much smaller one too. But this plant did come with like a ton of issues. I've had to chop off a bunch of leaves and stem and there's even some like right here. I just, I just couldn't bear to tear it anymore because there was just so much that really went wrong with it. Um, this is new growth as you can see. And of course, everything that you're seeing is including my social media accounts will be down in the description section if you do follow me on instagram you probably already seen um this plant me posting this plant because i do update my instagram much much quicker than youtube so i just want to document this for my records and hopefully when i do um update this vlog then i will um see some notable differences in regards to hopefully more growth she has put out like a ton of growth but there, those were already there when i got them this was like still closed i think when i got her and this is still unfurling or uncurling this one is still kind of closed and i do have another one here that is still closed but kind of really damaged really really awful so i'm very very excited to experience how this particular plant grows because i feel like that really is the best way to learn a specific plant rather than just reading other people's blogs or vlogs watching their vlogs because it's just that's just my personal preference i learn as i go and I feel like the more, the longer I've had the plant, um, the better I become with it because I do learn like, like the do's and don'ts and things like that. So here she is. If you guys have any tips or tricks in regards, in regards to this particular plant, let me know down below in the comment section. Of course, I would love to connect with you guys. So all my social media accounts are down in the description section and everything that I do use to water this baby is also in the description section. 
Um, it, I hope you guys like my video, that you're going to hit the like button, the subscribe, and of course the bell so you're notified every single time I do upload a new video. Again, she's right next to an east-facing window. An east-facing window is just um, morning light. So from everywhere that I've read and a lot of very, very amazing people have given me advice that an east-facing window can be okay due to the fact that morning light is a lot less harsher than afternoon light, which is a west light. West, um, the west window or the west light is usually a lot stronger than an east. So that's why I think she can make it here. My goal really is that she will grow big enough I don't need the stand and she can just be as is, you know, directly on the floor and I don't need that. And um, she is beautiful, isn't she? Regardless of all the nicks and issues here and there, she hasn't had real issues really, aside from the one leaf um, ever since I've gotten her. So I'm very happy about that. I think she's enjoying the East window and I do live in zone five, um, the state of Indiana, Northwest Indiana. And just to, you know, just to, you guys know, cause different parts of the world have different sun strength or light strength. And so I just wanted to specify that. Thank you guys so much for all the wonderful words. The um, If you guys want to talk about this plant, talk about gardening, let me know down below. I love talking about uh, plants, um, this plant, and learning more about it as much as I can. And I love hearing from you guys all the time. So thanks, guys, and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.